Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Worstaff, and this is One Punch Man version 2.0, guys. So, a little quick history about this game. Uh, the original game came out. I'm sure you guys probably all heard about it. Honestly, it just really wasn't that good. I mean, I wasn't a big fan of it. It's just really clunky and weird. So, I played it for a couple of days, and then I just kind of fell off of it. I just didn't really enjoy it. And I think the devs, they realized that. So, they kind of went back to the drawing board. And they came up with this beauty, guys, uh, version 2.0. And to be honest, I'm really enjoying it, guys. So I'm going to break it down how this game really works out and compare it to a couple of other AFK idle games that we already currently play and see how it stacks up. So let's begin. Uh, I guess we're going to begin with the characters of the game here. So this is what I got currently right now in my roster. And the cool thing is it's basically uh, AFK Arena with one punch man characters that's the whole gist about it guys so so let's take a look at one of the characters here's genos as you can see here you equipped his equipment you got his uh, abilities here from his active to his normal to his passive and uh, the same gist with all the other characters here and then you level them up as you level them up you unlock uh different passives of their abilities this is the main interface right here and you just keep passing through the stages it's afk so the more you know what i mean the more time passes the more goodies you collect now let's head over into the city so this is where mainly everything else is going to be at so we're going to do one recruitment here because i got enough gems here we're going to do a 10 recruit let's see if we can get a little bit lucky here come on baby i'm looking for boros boros will be incredible okay we've got an elite let's go uh, what's the elite here? Super Alloy Black Luster. Uh, okay, I say he's actually a pretty good character, but I'm not really going for that faction. So as every other AFK game you guys already know, let me take you into one single battle here in the arena. All right, this one is a little bit different here. You can place five characters. These are your bonuses that you can get from depending on which characters you use. And that's it, guys. So right now I've got four of the high tech characters and then one psychic character here. Now let's go ahead into the battle. So this game reminds me a lot of an old game we used to play here back in the day called League of Angels. Something, something, something. I don't remember the, the rest of it, but I remember it was the League of Angels. And if you recall, the OG gamers out there, if you recall, it was a turn-based. It was layers, lined up characters, and you would attack your front row characters. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably remember that game. So this one reminds me a lot of that game there. Let's go ahead and times two here. We'll auto it. And then as you can see the animations here, he goes into his ultimate and just hits front line, you know, in his you know, front row. Um, they all have obviously different abilities and they all do different things. So more importantly than having single characters that are really, really great in this game, team focused synergy is very important. Like all other AFK games. So Make sure you guys learn about these characters and see which ones fit better with each other. Um, now, going for one faction bonus, as you can see there, we have one faction bonus. You can get five characters of the same faction and it gives you that 25% HP and 25% attack. Man, uh, to be honest, guys, that's very difficult to do in most of these AFK games unless you're trying to just spend a lot of money and, you know what I mean, work on all these characters because... You already know they require a ton. So when we go into uh, promotions here, let's get into some promotions. So this is how you promote your character. For instance, we got three. It's all the same here, just like AFK Arena. You got three here of the same rarity. You go to Rare Plus, and then if you have a uh, Rare Plus, plus two more Rare Pluses, you go into uh, Elite, right? And if we have Elite, one Elite and another Elite makes double Elite. So we can promote that into Elite Plus. And you already so on and so forth. So you're going to need a lot of fodder for each faction in order to create, uh, you know, a character all the way up. To promote them all the way up. So, for instance, I'm already using Genos and Metal Knight here and uh, Child Emperor. So I really don't want to sacrifice any one of them here. And I'm still really early on into the game. So I'm not trying to sacrifice any of the good characters. Mo mainly you want to sacrifice all of the common characters or rare characters. Promote them all the way up and then sacrifice them like that. So we can also... Let's go ahead and promote this guy here. See if we can make a couple of different copies of him. So I'll have different videos on that later on as we go on here. But... On, on promoting and which characters are actually really uh, better than others. We'll do a separate video on that. So this is just an intro to the game. Let me just show you guys a couple of different things they got here. So this is tournaments, basically the arena, right? Go into the arena here and you face off against your rivals and try to climb the ladder depending on how many attacks you put in per day is uh, how much you're going to climb up. Mall is basically the shop. You just go in and buy things in the shop. Extreme Trial is just like every other 
trial game in the game. You just go up the ladder and try to climb as much as you can. Road to strong. Uh, this is basically your three floor daily or every other day uh, campaign that you got to do in. And you guys know what I'm talking about. You go in and you choose whether you want to battle or you want to arrive somebody or you want to heal. Uh, basically like that so missions uh, missions is uh bounties basically just going into the bounties and collect all do the solo missions do the co-op missions and then just basically appoint all and collect all and it's a uh, easy squeezy peasy uh thing to do adventure is um pretty cool you go in in the adventure i'll show you guys really quickly here you go in and uh you just gotta clear the stage once you clear the stage it basically finishes but you can do it again and all of them are going to pretty much open up here as you progress through the stages of the story story mode so that's really, really important going into the story mode is uh the main part so those are all the side things to do there this is story mode let's take a look at some events that they got going on right now for i guess just starting off there's the five day uh event just kicking off everything here just to uh you know make sure you do uh, enhance gear one time or do uh, this and that just to push you to do different things daily seven day gift this one is pretty cool you log in seven days here and they give you a couple of different characters um speed of sound sonic is one of them g genos is another one there so that's pretty good and this one here is heroes gathering the more heroes you can collect here collect 50 elite characters and uh you can choose one of these characters here and then you can also get if you get 120 then you get a frame <clears throat> which i think is not the best giveaway just a straight up frame but I could be wrong there. A lot of people love frames for some reason. I'm not sure why. I'm not the biggest fan of just a frame as a big giveaway after getting a 120 elite. That's just a lot. All right, so that's basically the overall gist of the game, guys. Let's take a look at uh, the album here. We can take a look at everything that's available, all of the different characters in the game. So they've got quite a few right now. Not crazy, uh, you know, too many, but a decent amount. So these are your common ones that you're going to sacrifice no matter what. doesn't even matter. Uh, then we go into... Uh, the epic epic characters are mainly going to be your fodder that you're going to use uh <clears throat> for your mythical characters and then mythical characters you try not to ever sacrifice mythical characters in afk type of games because they are just the cream of the crop you know what i mean they can go a lot further in levels and uh, those are the ones that you want mainly so faction wise they have five faction they've got the psychic faction down here they've got uh the physical faction there's a weapons faction uh this is high tech for all your mech characters and then this one here this is the legendary faction here and uh, there's only one character right now boros he's a the rare character to find and what this means is when you are doing your team composition so i can show you really quickly here so when we're doing our team composition and i'm looking here as to see how many characters i'm going to deploy to fill up my bar the fifth character here if i right now i'm using the psychic if i was using boros the legendary character he would actually fill in any needed um any needed type so he would just fill in a high tech and it would complete this so that's what he does so that's what the legendary characters do in the game right there so that's pretty much the gist of the game guys uh just a quick video here introducing this new game and uh to be honest guys i really i'm, I'm digging it man I'm, I'm playing it for a little bit here and it's a lot better than i would say uh, a lot of the other afk idol games out there because uh, first of all it's brand new it's still got a lot of features and uh, i'm just looking forward to everything they're gonna add on in the future here so give it a shot guys let me know what you think and let me know if you want more videos in the future about this game till then i will catch you guys on the next video bye everybody